of the nucleus of tractor shoulder is then we have got inferior cerebellar nucleus and then we have got the dorsal nucleus of the vagus and we have got the fifth one also and this is known as the spinal nucleus of who will complete this sentence the spinal nucleus of anybody any idea spinal nucleus of i have already told you that's why i am i asking you spinal nucleus of trigeminal why talking about the trigeminal nerve we have already discussed that the spinal nucleus of trigeminal nerve it not only receives the afferent fiber from the trigeminal nerve but we also receive from the 7th 9th i will tell you okay we have already discussed the spinal nucleus of trigeminal nerve it starts from the medulla and goes up to this the longest cranial nerve and comes up to the c2 level okay so this one is the spinal nucleus of trigeminal nerve this is about the five nucleus now we will draw it over here
root water the b foramen oven why it is going up to the reaching up to the foramen oven because it has to come up to the c2 level that's why i have low weight it okay you start to the medulla and reaching up to the the c2 level is that's why i have the low weight now the next nucleus is nucleus ambiguous then we have to draw the inferior salivary nucleus over there we have got the presence of inferior salivary nucleus over there because we have got the superior salivary nucleus over here and we have got the pons so the superior salivary nucleus over here then we have got dorsal nucleus of tractus solitarius this is the nucleus of tractus solitarius this is the nucleus of tractus solitarius tractus solitarius Here. Now next we have got the nucleus of ambiguous, nucleus ambiguous, and we are left with one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven nucleus of the Hegel's star. We are left with the eleven nucleus of Hegel's star. So here we have got the eleven nucleus. Okay. So. This is the spinal nucleus of Charlie Mendel. This is the nucleus of Tractor Solitarius. This is the. This is the. Dorsal nucleus of Harris. Dorsal nucleus of Harris. This is. Dorsal nucleus of Harris. Dorsal nucleus of Harris. Clear? So this is dorsal nucleus of Harris. Then this one is. Inferior salivary nucleus. So, अब उसको करने क्या होगा? तो तो क्या है? चलिए आधा कर लिए तो नहीं क्या होगा? So this is the inferior. This is the inferior dorsal nucleus of the head. This is the dorsal nucleus of the head. This one is the tractus solitarius. This is inferior salivary nucleus, and we are going to the end of. nucleus ambiguous maybe nucleus ambiguous so we are done with all the five nucleus okay now gloss of hinge and now when you will read in your book it is a very simple one it comes from the will at the junction of the the pon the, the olive and the inferior pedicle lead the cranial cavity to the from jugular from it and soon it forms the Two ganglionic, two ganglionic, three ganglionic runs form. Now I have a question over here. If there is a ganglion, ganglion should always be or exclusively for the sensory part of the cranial nerve. It should never be for the motor part of the cranial nerve. Number one point. Number two point. Ganglion always travel backward. It never travel forward. The, the fiber, the central process will go toward the cranial cavity and remove the. Peripheral part go to the target organ. The sensory part will go to what? The this this central part and the peripheral part will go to what? The peripheral. So if it is coming from the the brain stem, it coming from the brain stem and going to the target, that means it is a motor nerve. It's not a sensory nerve. If it is a sensory, it has to travel from here, forming a sort of ganglion over there, and then the central part to reach the cranial cavity. The central part to reach the cranial cavity. Clear? So this is about the nucleus. Now it is clear to you. Kya pata hai aapne? Agar wo ganglion hai, if it is a, if it has a inferior ganglion, that is inferior ganglion. That means it is. A sensory nerve, pure sensory nerve. If all fibers are traveling through the ganglion, number one point. Number two point. If it is a, a sensory one, the fiber has to come go from, from the periphery to the center, not from center to the periphery. Not from center to the periphery. Okay. Now.
So this is one part and we have already drawn over there. Looks like this. We know that So we have got a triangular ganglion over here and from triangular ganglion the three fibers which is the ophthalmic, which is the maxillary and the mandibular forms like this. Clear? You have never had or this comes through Bring the hamster. Blood, yeah. 
this from the nucleus and liver, the fracture comes from here and it goes toward the it goes toward the soft palate where it supplies the style of syringes muscle. Supply the stylopharyngeus muscle. Supply the stylopharyngeus muscle. And this stylopharyngeus muscle is responsible for not allowing the food from the oral cavity to enter into the nasopharynx. That's what we call the because it, it closes the it closes it works as a valve closes with this inlet and doesn't allow the food from there to go in, 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 inside it. So this is the stylopharyngeus muscle. The fiber for the nucleus and liver comes from through the jugular foramen. Comes through the jugular foramen. Comes through the jugular foramen. And what it will do? It will travel through. You have diaphragm and the jugula. In between the internal cavity artery and the internal jugular vein, and ultimately at the stylosteroid process, it reaches up to the steroid process where it will the stylosteroid muscle and supply the so this is the stylus in this movie. Now next we have got the nucleus from the tractus solitaire. Tractus solitaire. Now you see the, this is the tongue. It is the posterior one third, this is the anterior one third. From the posterior one third of the tongue and the hyaline papillas and the hyaline papillas. This test sensation reaches it goes like this. Yes. This test sensation goes like this. And it joins the nasopharyngeal nerve. And before entering into the jugular foramen, it forms a ganglion known as the inferior ganglion of glossopharyngeal nerve or petrous ganglion of the glossopharyngeal nerve. Also known as inferior or petrous ganglion. So this form the inferior ganglion of the glossopharyngeal nerve number one. And so this is the peripheral part and the central part travels through this one and it reaches the nucleus of the tractus solitarius. Which is the nucleus of tractus solitarius. The bone, the medulla, and it reaches the jugular 
it reaches the jugular canal. Now, just after it tap, comes out from the jugular foramen, just it comes from the jugular foramen, which I have told you, there is a canaliculus over here, there is a canaliculus over here, known as the tympanic canaliculus, so it will join, it will pass through the tympanic canaliculus, pass through the tympanic canaliculus, which is up to the pulmonary. This is the known as the, the fibre from the inferior cervical epithelium inferior salivatory nucleus is bringing the parasympathetic fibre into the pod in the parasympathetic fibre. So this is bringing the parasympathetic fibre reaching up to the commentary. Now I have, what I have told you that internal carotid artery, canal from internal carotid artery is very close with the jugular form. So the, from there the sympathetic plexus are there. So the sympathetic plexus also reach over there and they form the tympanic plexus over here and the tympanic plexus fiber ultimately it reach the passage through the fetal part of the bone the groove on the anterior surface of the fetal part of the bone groove, the smaller groove which I have told you and soon it reaches the foramen cobain soon it reaches the foramen cobain And with the mandibular nerve, it will release the with the mandibular nerve, it leaves the foramen mobile. It leaves the mandibular foramen, foramen mobile. Foramen mobile, foramen mobile will leave the now foramen mobile will be gone. Now, just below this one, we have got a ganglion over here. We have got a ganglion over here and this ganglion is known as the Uti ganglion. Ganglion is known as the ganglion is known as Uti ganglion. Just below the foramen of will, just medial to the medial to the mandibular nerve. Mandibular nerve is ah, medial. So just medial to the mandibular nerve, we have got a laser petrosal. This is the Fiber coming from the cerebral pedicle, which will increase the cerebral pedicle. Inter the tympanic canal plus at the tympanic nerve. This tympanic nerve forms a tympanic plexus over here. It leaves the tympanic plexus and the laser petrosal nerve. And laser petrosal nerve travels to the groove for the laser petrosal nerve and ultimately to the foramen nerve. It comes out. To the foramen nerve, it comes out. Comes out and reaches the provide the pre ganglionic fiber to this one. Provide the pre ganglionic fiber to the OT ganglion. Provide the pre ganglionic fiber to the OT ganglion. Clear? So the OT ganglion receives the pre ganglionic fiber from inferior cellular nucleus. Fiber coming to the tympanic canaliculus as tympanic nerve, forming a plexus at that momentary of the middle wall of the middle layer with the synthetic part coming from the corticoid tympanic nerve and, and the fiber with this part leaves the pedilary cavity and the laser petrosal nerve with which traverses the canal for the highest of the laser petrosal nerve and ultimately leaves the problem moving with the mandibular nerve and which is the motic to provide the pre-gionic parasympathetic fiber for the motic ganglion. Clear? So pre-gionic parasympathetic fiber is the Now, Then there is another foramen over here, and this foramen to this foramen passes one structure, which is known as the middle meridian artery, and this foramen is known as foramen spinosum. Just behind, just posterior to the foramen, okay. just posterior to the foramen, okay. over there we have got another foramen, and this foramen will be a smaller one, which is known as foramen spinosum, to which passes the middle meridian artery. This mandibular nerve, this mandibular nerve, when it is joined by the, the motor accessory nerve joints, this form the main trunk, and the trunk soon divide into the anterior part and the posterior part. Anterior part and the posterior part. From the posterior 
linear part, where the new fiber comes the fiber, which encircles the which encircles the middle meridian artery, and this fiber or this branch of the mandibular nerve, this posterior division of the mandibular nerve, which after coming out from the mandibular nerve, encircles the middle meridian artery is the auriculotemporal nerve. Is the auriculotemporal nerve. This one is the auriculotemporal nerve. Auriculotemporal nerve. This one is the auriculotemporal nerve. So this pattern leaves that as a auriculotemporal nerve. So this one is the auriculotemporal nerve. Now, we have got a hemoglobin. So what is the hemoglobin? जो यहाँ हमने प्रॉब्लम किया है बनाया चाहिए यहाँ मुंह में यहाँ बनाया कैसे प्रॉब्लम किया यहाँ हमने यार वी आर बोर्ड में डेल्टा से बैंडी बोर्ड पर है ये फॉर्म में लोगों ने यहाँ पर यहाँ पर यहाँ का ये तो पार्ट है सो हियर वी आर बोर्ड दी टीएमजी जॉइंट पास के लिए हम आपके लिए वी आर बोर्ड द now you see that this petrosal nerve fiber which is coming through this one, this one, the post unit fiber from the rear over here, the post unit fiber soon joins the auriculotemporal nerve. Join the auriculotemporal nerve and since the auriculotemporal nerve sends one branch to this, other, other than this, to the parabenic gland, why? Supply this to take the sensory sensation from here. To take the sensory sensation from here. So, what you got your phone now is over here, and this post cannulin fiber joins the auriculotemporal nerve to in into the peripheral gland to supply the secondary motor fiber to the peripheral gland. Clear? Now, what is the peripheral gland? 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 जैसे प्रोटोसल का थोड़ा में होते हैं, छोटे के लिए, सिक्री के लिए पार, बोझ के लिए, जंप तू जो वाली प्रोटेक्टर है ना, जंप तू नहीं, वाली प्रोटेक्टर है ना, एंड वाली प्रोटेक्टर है ना उसे फायर, बोझ तू कौन है? कौन तू आता? पैरेंट ग्लैंड, तू सप्लाई द बोझ के लिए पास उसकी फायर, तू द You know that there, there is a middle meridian artery over here, and we have got a T1 fiber over here. T1 is a fiber again. T1 is a fiber that we have superior cervical nuclear, superior cervical nuclear change, middle cervical nuclear change, and inferior cervical nuclear change. From the inferior cervical nuclear change, the post neuronic fiber reaches over there. Posterior, you can see the 
said posteriorly you have got a middle vertebral artery. Posteriorly you have got a middle vertebral artery, and anteriorly you have got the medial vertebral plate. Anteriorly you have got the medial vertebral plate. This diagram will be up to the side. You see over here. You can see it's two rounds. What do you mean? Look at this. Hold it. You can see it. See this. This is the foramen of it. Here we have got the foramen over here. We have got the foramen over here. Okay. Posteriorly we have got the foramen spinosum. So posterior relation is clear. Anterior you have got the medial tendinoid plate. So anterior relation is clear. Then medially you have got a tensor variability which comes from the this sulcus tubi which goes like this and comes over here. So medially you have got this. And laterally of course you have to do that. Medial side. So progressively it is related. But functionally it is the glossophagia nerve. Because the bridge and unique fiber is being carried away by the glossophagia nerve. But topographically it is addressed by the glossophagia nerve. In close of the glossophagia nerve. Clear? Are you aware of it? Yes. So now we are done with the only protein video. Protein video part finished. And we will finish with the? Three fiber. Now we are done with the two fibers. That is the dorsal nucleus of the vagus nerve and the spinal nucleus of the transit nerve. Now, if this is continuous like this, the pain touch and temperature for the pain touch and temperature. The pain touch and temperature from the oros the oropharynx. And some part of the neurofarynx, or the neurofarynx from here and the oropharynx. From the soft palate, uvula, all passes through, passes backward, all passes backward, and it forms, joins the inferior ganglion. It joins the inferior ganglion. The glands, everything is being taken care of by the autonomic nervous system. 
So this is one that why we are going to change. So this is the dorsal nucleus of the vagus carrying the pain catch and temperature. The pain catch and temperature is it destined to this part only? It is destined. It is a part of the body. So we will use the term general also. So we are got with the G and we are got with the A. And what is left over here? The proprioceptive impulses and also from the stylocranius, 
this fiber comes backward and it forms the superior ganglion over here and from here the fiber reaches the spinal nucleus of the calendar nerve. Spinal nucleus of the calendar nerve. That is the good of the nerve. So this is the spinal nucleus of the calendar nerve. So clear? Is clear to you? We have got the five nucleuses. They are the nucleus and nucleus, tractor solitarius, infusion elevated nucleus, dorsal nucleus of the agus, the spinal nucleus of the tiny nerve. Huh? Nucleus and nucleus is responsible for the SBE fiber, tractor solitarius, SBA, infusion elevated nucleus, GBE, dorsal nucleus of the agus nerve is the GBA, and the spinal nucleus of the tiny nerve. Huh? Now, now what do you call it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's A. It's yeah. afferent. Yeah. No doubt. Proprioception impulse is not destined to this part. It is available as wherever the joint or the ligament is there. General. So general I will use. Now tell me what other terms I should use. Here, yeah. in many cavities, they are called the somatic. So you use the term somatic Yes. So this will come under the heading of GSA. Come yeah. under heading of GSA. This will come under the heading of GSA. So we are done with the SBE, then SBA, then GBE, GBE and GBA, and GSA. So this loss of weight here now, we have five nucleus, I can got five. Five afferent and five different. Five fibers. I have got two afferent and three afferent. Two afferent and three afferent. Clear to you? Any question? So this is all about the tangent and the video of the video.